Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Yes, I did a little different this time because uh, we got some special guests in the house. No strangers to the pod or to the viewers. You guys have seen them. We have the very talented, the very hilarious. Just got back in town, hitting them from the side to side. Miss Kanisha Bus in the building. And we also have yeah. the very hilarious, amazing writer, director, producer, um, event Sex space. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? He, he, he out here entrepreneur and doing his all thing. He doing everything, ladies and gentlemen. We got Dion Lack back in the building as well. I was oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to cruise bombs for <laughs> Dion Lack. Come on, man. Drop a cruise bombs for Dion Lack. What's up, man? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all good? Yeah, man. I just got back in town, too. You know? Mm. Where'd you go? Modesto. But... You know, that's 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 Why still in town. Say it like that. I had to pick up something. That's a, that's a ways away, you know. Give me that. That's that's for real. What's considered out of town? How far do I got? Is San Diego out of town? How many miles is considered out of town? Yeah, you know what? San Diego, San Diego is out of town. Out of town because most times, most people don't do a day trip to San Diego. But even if you do, right. it's out of town. Modesto's out of town. It's just like it's not a place that people just typically go to. So. I don't get the man. same. You don't. Get you the just same went somewhere that. right quick when you go to yeah. Modesto. Now I just gotta go somewhere real quick. That's not. Modesto is an errand. You be like, yeah, I gotta run up to Modesto real quick. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I produce, they do a different out there. <laughs> you can't really brag that know. you went to Modesto. Yeah, I spent the weekend in Modesto. Somebody be like, you lost a bet. What happened? <laughs> yeah. I had to. I had to pick up an ottoman. It sounds like you got court out there. Yeah, I got a traffic ticket in Modesto. I got to go back <laughs> go to court up here. It's real Modesto quick. Modesto where your baby mama and her family move after they lost the house. That's yes. where they go to the <laughs> citation out <after> Modesto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You send your son running from a gang. We got to get you out of here. <laughs> no bail layers for you. You go to Modesto. <laughs> Dion, it look like you got potato salad in your water. What's going on? Oh, man. I got some ginger. I got lemons. Cucumbers, mint. I'm out here trying to clean mm. this body out. Once you get past 40, you can't just be snacking on Twinkies at 2 a.m. You got to clean everything out. What about 145? No, just like <laughs> you going to wait to 45. I said, well, what about 145? You said, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, listen, you, you, you're putting forth the effort. I will say that. You've been consistent yeah. every time I seen you, you got that jug. So, you out here, man. I can appreciate you know, it. But when this camera cuts off, off, camera cuts off, I'm definitely in that the Hawaiian punch and that 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 uh -uh. that, that <laughs> Dion, yeah, people complimenting the crispiness of the camera, man. You got the you, you been, been bringing know. out the new camera, the big guns lately, bro. Man, this is a tooth. I'm out here promoting uh, the location. Uh -huh. um, you know the work I do, the camera work, and of course. 32 states, man. Sex symbol right here, yo. Register. Register hey. sex symbol. <laughs> I gotta come get some new pictures. Dion took some pictures of me three years ago. I didn't like, I, I didn't like, they were great pictures. I just didn't like how I look because I was so used to selfies that real pictures kind of messed up my self-esteem. I was like, oh, I wasn't ready for this reality. So <laughs> I didn't use them. But now on the back end, I'm like, these are so fire. I'm using them on everything. That's when I have I blonde hair. I would love to update them. I got you. I would love to update them. Those like yes. year and a half. I know. I'm about two, two and some change. How was your uh, weekend, Kanisha? Man, I was on nine planes in four days. I'm so, I'm so tired. Wow. Oh, and all every. Uh, uh, where was that? Uh, Spokane, Ben. Uh, uh, my my mind's telling me no. Um. I can't think of anything else, but it was a it was, my brain is much, but it was a time of each flight at Boise and uh, I can't remember the last place, but each flight was like two flights to get there. Oh. Um, so it it was it was crazy. And, and I don't like those little planes. So it, like yeah. almost every plane was a little plane and I flew out of Burbank. So every plane that oh. we flew into was like little, little, little Burbank airplanes. Yeah. And they just be, and I'm doing real good at praying and flying, but then when they just start, they're mm -hmm. like, all right now, God, I yeah. said faith. I, I need oh, more God. than mustard seed now, because it's, it's 
<laughs> it's crazy. And I didn't know planes. My last plane, luckily, it was my last plane. I feel like I got whooplash. We hit so hard and then start swerving. I didn't know planes could swerve. I was like, well, I'd rather crash on ground than fall out the sky. But I was nervous. So I was like, all right, time to go. Let's go. One time I was on a flight and that motherfucker landed so hard that the, the movie that I was watching, the language changed. <laughs> Shut up, dude. That shit, Shut hit, up. that shit landed hard. I said, it's his first day or oh, his first time flying this one because this one was supposed to land that hard, bro. Yeah. Come say, hey, up, my bad. Uh, y'all good? Hey, listen, <laughs> when I first started flying, my uh, my brother was working for Southwest, so he was getting me buddy passes. And so, you know, every time I got a buddy pass, I kind of felt like I was elite. I didn't realize the non revenue. Passes were like the bottom of the barrel. I thought I got like some secret hookup. So one time I'm flying out of St. Louis and they got us on like one of those little regional planes too. Like you were just talking about Kanisha. And it had like, it, it looked like a big jet. And I was like, whoo, got your boy on the jet. I had no idea. This, this, this was the most raggedy plane. I had never been on a plane that has the back of the plane had like that old seat like four seats next to each other oh. like how a bus does oh, wow. i had never seen a plane that didn't have the lavatory in mm. the back so i was okay. like Nigga, what kind of once i got <laughs> on i realized it was an older plane but then when i saw right. the back i was like what kind of plane yeah has you know, four seats in the back yeah you knew it was a problem when they said smoking or not smoking so you uh -uh. know you where's old. that plane going modesto <laughs> I, that's the plane of Modesto, huh? Yeah, yeah. I knew it was a problem when I saw like window cranks, like you could you could roll the window. Uh -uh. I was like, oh, this ain't, this ain't no we ain't got no seatbelts, just the bar. Just the bar on me. <laughs> First class was the seat. Everybody else was standing. <laughs> it was nothing but seatbelt extensions. It, it's just a little, it's just a little clip parts on your seat. Yeah. You got to put the extension on. That you had roller coaster. It had the little thing over, go over your, on your chest. <laughs> you were dangling. Your feet were dangling out the window. <laughs> <laughs> we need three of y'all to come off the plane to help give us a push start. <laughs> <laughs> we got to crank this propeller up. <laughs> Big back right, only. Big back only. I, uh, we got one bottle of water y'all gotta pass it everybody get a drink <laughs> air drink though air, air drink i always ask for a can anytime me too. they come around for service i'm like you ain't gonna give me this little bit of ass cup mm -mm. let me get a can. can or whatever the fuck i want okay mm -hmm. and uh come back and see me when you got the lick on your cart because i i need uh i knew two jacks as well <laughs> <laughs> kanisha all the flying you get to do have you had some food or city that really stood out with good food uh, I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm gonna no, that. but you know what? We're getting ready, so we're getting ready to hit, to hit like Chicago, and I'll be in New York next weekend, and um, I'm going to Cleveland. So you know, I'm about to act a fool. So I'm about to get more over there. So okay. I'm looking for something. But as of now, I can't. Nothing has really. Oh no, I'm lying like a mug. We went to St. Louis and we had some barbecue, you know, because you know I'm a sometimes vegan. We had some barbecue, that stuff like that. I'ma eat the meat, okay? I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Fake vegan, real recipes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> I cook vegan in the house, but baby, I'm not St. Louis. Not only that, I, they give you so much in the sir. We went to Reds. Mm -hmm. I brought back, so I was eating real I, three days. Had the whole barbecue plane. I got, I, I got to bring these back. You know, our best friend from over there, too. He was like, oh, you got the hometown ribs? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, and the potato salad? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, yeah. St. Louis right now with the ribs is is A1 and in Texas. The Texas What's the restaurant name? What's the restaurant name? Give them Reds. Shout out. Reds. It's Reds. They don't need a shout out. It's a three-hour line. You got to get there Tuesday <laughs> if you want some shit by Wednesday. Reds. Oh, <laughs> my God. It was so I good. I show y'all this video real quick of this soup has been serving the same soup for over 45 years. And no, it's not just the same recipe, it's the exact same soup. This type of soup is known as perpetual soup and has been passed down through three generations of the same family. Every day, the restaurant serves hundreds of bowls of soup using this broth, adding different ingredients like 70 kilos of beef, fresh vegetables, and aromatic spices. At the end of the day, the leftover soup is put in a separate 
pot to simmer overnight. In the morning, they add water and new ingredients to the soup, preparing it for another day of service. The soup never stops boiling, so no bacteria can form, and the flavors become incredibly deep and complex. This continuous boiling process is key to maintaining the soup's unique taste and safety. The rich uh, my mind automatically went to what was that soup doing them two years during COVID? I'm sorry, that's the <laughs> first thing. <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> it was collection, boy. <laughs> I'm serious. That's, that's all I can think about. <laughs> what about them two years? <laughs> what yeah. was when well, nobody could come outside? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> you fuck around and miss a day of work and ruin a family legacy of soup. I just <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, yeah, ain't no that's way. Yeah, ain't no yeah. way. That's funny. Oh, oh man, it's, there's no way that soup has the same flavor 30 years ago because it, it keeps changing. You keep adding like chicken and beef and vegetables. Like, yo, this don't taste nothing like grandma. Yeah, because <laughs> different. This is. But if they're putting the same thing in over and over, I'm just accidents happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And nothing fell in that soup that y'all had to yeah. drain the pot. Like I'm just. Where's Junior I, at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see like, Junior? It's like every couple months or at least once a year they have a recall on beef. Now maybe this is just an American <laughs> thing, right? But. Boar's head right now. They said it's a recall on boar's head meat. Every now and then, at least once a year, they have a recall on some meat. You mean to tell me in four generations they ain't never they ain't never had to recall nothing? Did y'all yeah. just roll them with whatever they yeah. give you? It's too many questionables. Yeah. Too Turn many the fire to burn out the, the, the infection. Turn the fire up more. <laughs> 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 y'all ain't never have no power outage so it just <laughs> never just stop boiling i'm just Nobody's that sneezing. ain't been boiling no one accidentally fell in there that's no, what i'm that's saying what, how many flies are accidentally in that 45 year old suit because you're flies, not going to say the they didn't they, they they protected it so no insects ever got in it you're not going to tell me you're not going to do a, it I don't know how this is gonna sound, but looking at the location, I don't think they really care. They don't probably, care. What this what what this gruntled employee was like, I'm gonna show these niggas how uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. you gonna fire me, you gonna fire me over five dollars. Huh? Uh, it'll boil out overnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's just I'm I'm glad I'm not in the family because while everybody was sleep, I would sneak and put in all new soup. I don't give a damn like I'm not. They're not. I'm hey, listen, I will say this: we talking this shit right now, but let's keep it a bean. If you were there, would you try a teaspoon of that spoon? Yeah, uh, that soup. I no. would if they didn't tell me what it was. They said you gotta try it, and they were like, "Yo, this has been cooking for 45 years." I might have said, huh? "I might," yeah. but if it's like, okay. What's the secret? 45 years of stroganoff, <laughs> of bacteria stroganoff. <laughs> oh, I can't. Now, the flavor is probably intense because you let some gumbo sit by the fourth day. You know, anything that's a soup base after the fourth day, the flavor is in there. But 45 days, I feel like the cabbage be soggy. It's years. just things I can't do. 45 years. I mean, 45 years. Everything I want, like, is it any way possible to know if all the meat from the previous year has been scoofed out. Because if you don't know that, you could be eating some five-year-old yeah. meat that's just been yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Meat do go bad in in a, yeah. in a week. Now I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, There's no. It's oh. not like it's cycling out like in the refrigerator. Like, what's the expiration date on this beef right here? We got to cycle that out. No, it's been. <laughs> People keep pushing it away, like no, not that, not that one. Not not that that one. Get don't give me beef. nothing from the bottom. Give me all the shit from the. Get mine from the top. Don't don't do a big scoop on me. <laughs> give me the top. <laughs> I want what's at the bottom. That. What is this? <laughs> everything soup. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! Every vegetable, every meat. Ugh. You be talking, arguing with the kids. Boy, I got soup older than you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh I can't. God. Well, uh -uh. um, I mean, it. It. it yes. That's that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it, that that's 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 the culture over there. You know, what I'm saying like some people stick with the culture. They stick with the uh, uh what do they call the rituals and, and things of that. 
Um, if you guys are like me, you're always looking for ways to, I don't know, take your 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 life to the next level and take your hygiene to the next level, especially when it comes to the fellas. I've spoke many times about um, how I go get a manicure and pedicure at Hammer and Nails as a male grooming spa. Uh, just trying to keep it up, you know what I'm saying, and make sure that I'm putting the right products on my body. And with that, I just want to remind you guys and let you guys know, those that don't know, that this episode is sponsored by Mando. Um, for those that, that, um, that don't know, Mando is an amazing product. Um, it's, uh, they have deodorant, they have, uh, full body deodorant, they have body wash, they have a ton of things that you can do to take your grooming when it comes to the man to the next level. Um, I, I have the deodorant and I love the fact that it's, uh, it, it smells good. It feels good. And I know what I'm using. I know all the products that are in there. Um, and I love the fact that it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Like I love when products do exactly what they're supposed to do. It controls the odor anywhere. They give you 48 hour protection. And when I say 48 hour, I mean it. Uh, I was in Jamaica just ripping and running all day. And, you know, we get hot in Jamaica. It, it feeling Jamaica has been feeling these last couple of days in L.A. You understand me? Uh, but I had no problems with it. Kept me clear. I'm sorry, not clear. Kept me fresh the entire day while some other people were, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, a little tart. It was a little tart. Um, but right now we got a great deal with Mando. Control your body odor anywhere at Shop Mando. Um, and get five dollars off your, your starter pack, and that's over 40 percent off with your promo code DIYS at shopmando.com. Um, so make sure you hit over there right now if you guys are looking for a new type of deodorant, something that's a little more uh healthier. Well, I don't want to say healthier when it comes to deodorant, but it's something a little more environmental friendly, and you know the products that you're putting on your body, those type of things. Check out Mando, you won't be disappointed. I've been rocking them. When they sent the first product over, which is probably about three months ago, when I ran out of that deodorant, I ran back and got some more. I just spent my own money because I did like the results that much. And that's what I'm using right now. So make sure you check it out for all your odor control needs. Again, underarm deodorant, full body deodorant. They got body wash. They got facial wash. They got everything that you need, fellas, to take your hygiene game to the next level. So uh, go to shopmando.com. Use our, our, our promo code DIYS and you get five dollars off your starter pack. That's for over forty percent off. Boom. Dion, you uh you go get a um, manicure, pedicure, anything I, like that? I, I do and don't. Not on my own. Definitely with my daughters. Okay. So I, well, so I you feel like them. that is my excuse to be like, yeah, it's it's for the it's for the girls. <laughs> but Why not just, just do it, man? It's it's great, brother. It's just self care. It is, but you know, I just, awesome. I just, uh, I don't know. It, just, it feels, it feels right with my girls. I, I, I definitely be encouraging. Like, hey, y'all, y'all want to go again? Wanna... <laughs> 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 Let's do it again. I know it's we're, we're Monday. I know. I know. That pedicure um, be feeling great. I've, I've never been in that Guinness, that Guinness World Records place. That's on. Was it Hollywood? And Vine, mm-hmm. oh, we take the Hollywood. kids there. Yeah, I've never been in there. Uh, so I, remember, I just look uh, at the ones that I find online and stuff like that. But I've never actually been inside that one. This was one that I found that was kind of interesting right here. They did a balloon relate release and wanted to get in Guinness World Record, and then this happened. Yeah. <laughs> There was no doubt about it. The launch was spectacular. It was a tremendous moment of triumph for the city of Cleveland. But unfortunately, this moment of triumph did not last long. The expectation was that the helium-filled balloons would float around for a while before eventually deflating and returning to Earth one by one. But that wasn't what happened. And the wind has just shifted just enough, and the balloons are now trailing the fans. There's a good the balloons are coming back this way. They're coming back. The cold air and oncoming rain immediately pushed the still-inflated balloons tens of thousands of them back down towards the ground in droves. The result was mass chaos. Balloons, one and a half million of them caused quite 
Disturbed in Cleveland yesterday, it was a northerly wind quickly carried the balloons to Burke Lake Fun Airport, and within minutes, the runways were so clogged that all flights had to be suspended. The balloons also started to descend on certain streets, and after a number of car accidents, these roads had to be closed until a bulldozer arrived to clear out the balloons. As all this was going on, the Coast Guard was still out looking for the two missing fishermen. Ironically, that big balloon launch in Cleveland today is one of the things that's making the search so tough for the Coast Guard. Balloons had descended on Lake Erie in mass. Of quantities. There's 60 percent of the balloons launched landed here instead of the planned 10 percent. This is like trying to find a needle in a haystack here. Can you imagine trying to find somebody floating out here or even spotting a life jacket with all these balloons on the water? On September 29th, two days after the balloons were launched, the Coast Guard finally called off the search for the two missing fishermen. And shortly after, both men's bodies washed ashore. Balloon Fest was featured in the 1988 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. However, that was the only edition to include it. And shortly after, Guinness ended the category of balloon launching altogether. Idiots! <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Yo. Nope. Yo. Could you yeah, imagine nope. you're in an emergency and you're trying to catch a flight and I'm like, yeah, it's a bunch of balloons, y'all. We stuck. <laughs> Nobody Bro. going to Modesto today. <laughs> Just stuck. <laughs> Being the person, one, that came up with the idea for the balloon launch, right? And then being amongst a group of people who okayed it. And <laughs> they was yeah. like, yeah, probably only 10% or less will actually make it to the water. The rest of them, they're just gonna go up. I'm sure of it, nigga. They thought they were going to space, like just going to just evaporate. Like <laughs> they had to come down at one point, and it just—I just, I just think about the ducks, the the air, the everything. It's just a bunch of balloons everywhere, and helium take forever. That one helium balloon in your house be up for three weeks, just yeah, dangling yeah. right there, just yeah. up right above the city. Car accidents, plane rerouting. Yeah. Couldn't find the, the missing fishermen. Yeah. Um, Before real like, internet, too. Oh, you couldn't so get warnings. Oh, I'm trying to see why the fishermen didn't make a raft out of all them balloons. They just floated <laughs> home. <laughs> like, hey, you know, helium just, they're like life jackets. I'd have been holding on, just kicking all the way back to shore. Shit. <laughs> Grab you one balloon. It just floats. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. So slow down. So, a fisherman, how did they end up missing because of the balloons? They were on the water and it's the balloons. They were floating. already missing. They and was I, already missing. The look, the look was already, the search was already on for them, but the balloons made it harder to spot their life jackets because the <laughs> the balloons. Okay, <laughs> now that's funny. I thought the it's balloons not. were like, no, no, it's funny because they were looking like, we're trying to find colors. They're like, shit, there's a lot of colors out here. So they're looking, they're kind of hovering over the water like, it's too many colors. I don't know it's which one is a human. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. It's too Bro, much. That's, that's wild. Wild. Somebody got fired. Yeah. Somebody better. They needed to. <laughs> you know how Rose had the whistle? Just bite it, take the helium out, and give you a high pitch like a whistle. Help! Help! Like I'm here to help. I'm here to just keep sucking. Help! <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta there's, do. There's a balloon somewhere not, since 1996. There's a balloon on somebody's roof right now that's still there. Right. Near, oh. In someone's gutter. It's it's somewhere. This is like a treasure trunk of, of finding the rest of the balloons. That is the worst, dog. Yeah. That is the worst. I'm idea. trying to see, think the cleanup for that has got to be, especially because when they say it sounds real stupid for them to say bulldoze balloons. Every time yeah. you touch them, they're, they're flying back. You can't bulldoze no balloons. Have you ever tried to sweep balloons after a birthday party that ain't pop? You just gotta you just need to let a bunch of elementary school kids run loose on the freeway. They and just pop them like you do at the end of a party. Like fuck it, we need all the kids run in the loose city. On the freeway? Because they closed the freeway down. Like that, they had to close the freeway. Like we need all put all the school buses block and let the kids go crazy. <laughs> Would have been up in Man. twenty minutes. I know they didn't see that shit coming at all. Not they at, said, not "Damn at the ozone layer." They was like, man, we good. Global warming is totally fine. Mm. We're good. They wouldn't even talk about global warming in 96. <laughs> right at all. They thought the balloons were going to fly to another city. Place. It ain't our problem. Oh Wherever God. they land. They were proud. They said, here it goes. I <laughs> know. Book of world records. How was your uh, uh, relationship with your grandparents? I don't remember. My dad early. Okay. Uh, I had one, my my mom's mom. That's it. So my granddad was a nigga in every sense <laughs> of the form. Like 
My granddaddy was quick to put a gun on any and everybody. He put a gun on my grandmother's preacher one time. Damn. He went up to the hospital with his gun. He was quick. Your he grandfather was, he was Medea. Athlete. Might, might as well, man. Might as well. And that's not even a joke. But I don't think he was as bad as this. Oh. Oil company in the 60s was the richest private citizen in the world. And when his 16-year-old grandson, John Paul Getty III, was in Rome, he was kidnapped and held for ransom. The kidnappers demanded $17 million for his safe return. His dad asked the grandfather, J. Paul Getty, for the money, and he said no that it would set a bad precedent. Well, in November 1973, an envelope arrived to J. Paul Getty. Inside that envelope was the severed ear of his grandson. Now, at this time, the demand went down to $3.2 million. He agreed to pay $2.2 million because that was the maximum amount that could be tax deductible. He made a loan to his son for the remainder of the money and charged him a 4% interest rate. And on yeah. December 15, 1973, John Paul Getty III was found safe at a gas station right after the ransom had been paid. He went to call his grandfather and say thank you, and his grandfather refused to come to the phone. Yeah. Yeah. They made a movie of this. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I follow, baby. I love well, it. when you know your family history, like what you running around freely for, you know they be kidnapping and doing this stuff. You being irresponsible. That's the grandson fault. You can't just be frolicking freely when you come from a family like that. You got to be careful. You, it was in the 60s. I guess they was thinking like, man, I should be good over here. It was in Scotland somewhere, but man, the yeah. flat out to say, nah, I ain't paying 17. You crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this, boy, this boy don't even do nothing. He don't play those sports. He'll play those instruments. He's not a What am I paying for? Well, he was stressed out. He had a cigarette. He said, How much? Man. So, you know, I'll pay that nigga $3,200. <laughs> <laughs> it's tax deductible. Not he included the IRS in this. Like, wait. Gave <laughs> him the two point two million, and then loaned his father, uh, his son, that the last million, and then charged some interest on it. That's Yo. crazy. What if you were just like, hey, I will pay this, but just know that you are cut from my will. This is your money. <laughs> I'll pay this, but just know that you are cut from the family. <laughs> oh, you ain't getting nothing else. You can't even come to the barbecues. Your barbecue yeah. has already been paid for. Yeah. Is, 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 am I wrong for doing that, though? If I say, listen, because the thing is, you could be a part of this. You could be a, a Okay, man, I'm fired. <laughs> you part of his own kidnapping? Yeah. And people do do that. They do do that. Man. Yeah, That's man. crazy, though. There's no cutting you from the family money, though. I'll tell you that. Ain't no more. Yeah. Ain't no more. Allowance. And don't get kidnapped again, my boy. <laughs> You're finished. <laughs> what's What's the most you think somebody like if, if you were to get kidnapped? What's the most you would be fine with your family offering up? Like, what's the least amount that that would that, that, that they can offer up for you without you being offended? Uh, two GoFundmes. <laughs> I'm like, I have. They have nothing unless y'all want some EBT. Do y'all take stamps? Because that's the first when they kid me. I'm like, y'all don't take stamps. You might as well put me back. <laughs> and my baby father, well, he might because he does. He trying to have his day off days. He might be the only one to pay for me. Matter of fact, <laughs> he ain't raising that baby by himself. So that's the only person that will pay for me that has some money. <laughs> I don't even know who to reach. I don't even know who the Rams people reach out to. My, yeah. my daughters, my baby mama. <laughs> nah, not I ain't no parents. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A, <laughs> I wonder ahead. if there's a minimum that the United States would pay for a uh, kidnapped person. And it was worse, like you said, Kanisha, get, 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 getting kidnapped again. Like, you ain't gonna believe it. They got grandson again. <laughs> he like nah, he yeah. playing man. <laughs> got this on his, yeah. Send his other ear over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd have talked in the ear. Didn't you hear me when I said don't get kidnapped again? <laughs> the, the, the phone. <laughs> do, do, do. The yeah. number you, Grandpa, is that you? The number you have dialed. <laughs> Rambo, you can't say what you said. The number you have died <laughs> to not get on the phone is the code. It's like, I don't even want to. Nah, I, I, I didn't even do it for you. I did it for my son. <laughs> oh, <laughs> grandma made That's him do it. Right. Go ahead and get the baby. He didn't want to. Grandma made him do it. Get the baby. 
Get the damn baby. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's cold. Uh, I, there's really no money if it. they kidnap me. Yeah. 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 I don't I, even I got no read a little something that said like most times uh it would come from the family, especially if they're wealthy or something like that. But it, it wouldn't let me read on with like sign without signing up. So I got off of that page real quick. So yeah, <laughs> Google be looking out for you, man. I had to try to Google what's worse, meth or crack. And then they had said, if you need help, please. <laughs> <laughs> they said, hey, I can't, I can't answer this type of shit. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Right now, whatever you're thinking, I can't give you the correct answer. Hey, your Google search says a lot uh -oh. about you, nigga. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> What's the wildest thing you ever Google? I won't say wildest thing I ever Google because I can't say it here. But and and this is a disclaimer: I do not use AI to write any of my information. But Redo was telling me about this this Wi-Fi uh, the AI thing, and I was like, let me see. I said, write me a joke on abortion, and AI refused. They said this is not a funny matter, <laughs> and, and it refused to write a joke. And I was crying. I was like, baby, that means nobody can steal my shine. All original. <laughs> 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 it, it refused to do it. It refused to do it. <laughs> Hey, hey, what about you, Dion? I just told oh, you. You know what? Now that's idea. Don't say it on here. You, you, you a I wild boy, Dion. You. I am. So I just just text it to me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't, I don't know if you. We we might have to edit this whole episode. You tell me what you search. <laughs> yeah. As long as we don't bring up Pornhub searches, I'm good. No. <laughs> <Hello. Hello. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, ever, like just get on a bench and be like let me see let me see let me see how these pregnant bitches be fucking real quick it just goes up something wow and it gets deep with the, the uh, more you click the more yep. you yep. you're like fuck it back 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 how did i get if here you, if you go like page page eight or nine you be like all right i need to i need to go pray I, <laughs> don't you be upset why do they know me like this i am better than i knew myself how would they know i would want to see some shit i couldn't even think of i tell you something man i, I don't know how <laughs> open this this chat is but was, yeah yeah but it is around the porn aspect so but i'm gonna leave it like that things where i got into i was like man i didn't know this would even exist I did not know this was a thing. Uh huh. That was in a rabbit hole of like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really now? <laughs> Be covering the top of your phone. Hope the Lord not watching. Like hell no, he can't see this shit. <laughs> hope the Lord don't see it. <laughs> all seeing, all knowing. <laughs> if I can't see it, I know what you just typed in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh how y'all feel about uh seafood? I'm allergic. Okay. Like crab only, sticks, crab meat like that. Dion, you, you rock only with eat fish. Okay. I have never been a big fan of lobster and crab. I like crab like Crimp? Like actual crab, like you cracking like that. I just feel mm -hmm. like it's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. But um, I had learned a while ago how crab imitation crab meat was made, and I never went back. And then I recently found this video, and uh, yeah, I hope this helps. After so watching this video, you might never want to eat it again. First, workers throw frozen fish paste, resembling cement, into a blender. Then, a large amount of ice is added. Under the action of the blender, the melted ice mixes with the fish paste, forming a thick, fragrant mixture that doesn't look appetizing. Next, sugar, salt, and other seasonings are added and mixed. After the blending is complete, the crucial shaping stage begins. With the help of a machine, the thick mixture is squeezed into thin, evenly sized sheets. Meanwhile, workers mix edible dye with the mixture to create a red colored material similar to crab legs. This colored mixture is then applied to one end of the thin sheets. As the sheets move along a conveyor belt, they pass through a pulling machine, creating a texture resembling chicken meat. The sheets are then rolled into round sticks, forming the basis of the crab sticks. The freshly rolled sticks are fed into a machine, where they are wrapped in a thin film and finally cut into evenly Sized small sticks. Thus, crab sticks without any real crab meat are produced. Please forward this to your. There you go. 
Imitation crab used to be my favorite. It's fake seafood. My mom used it in everything. Hey, shout out to the nigga who does the voiceover, man. I know that's AI, but that nigga sounds so demonic. Bro. Dick pace is going through a care. Yuck. <laughs> Disgusting. Ugh. That is. I, you know, no, 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 man. And I just feel like if, if that's what they're doing for imitation crab meat, crab meat they got to be doing that for multiple. Chicken yeah. Nugget meat? Chicken nugget meat? Crazy. Have you seen like the pink slime that it actually yes. is made from from Nick Don? Nah, Dion, don't look away. I know that's what you like. Nah, man. No, no. I'm thinking about all, all fast food uh, hamburgers. Mm -hmm. There's no way that's that's any sort of meat. That's yeah. that's diabolical. They, they, they add a little color oh. to kind of make it. Hey, this just to give you a little look of it. This is fresh meat. They used to taste just like to me. It was just I'm I'm blown right now because I I love it. Was it like wait what? We are humans are diabolical. How can we make this? It, it, Who it comes up with this? Imitation crab <laughs> is diabolical. It's it's it's. It's mm -hmm. imitation, imitation crab. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's it two, it two imitations. No crab whatsoever. No crab in piece. it whatsoever. Fish paste? Is that Fish where they're getting the flavor? Mm -hmm. Hey, crab imitation crab be good as hell, though. That's why I'm upset right now. Diabolical, man. And it would have just been white if they didn't add the food color. Yeah. That's diabolical. <laughs> they constructed it. They didn't just make They constructed the add the, the dye. And put it in a certain place, rolled it up, made it like. Yep. I also found out when you go to like grocery stores and they have like those uh, seasoned meat, mm -hmm. those are like about to go bad. And they right. just added a little, <laughs> they added their own flavors. Like, hey, please take this. This yeah. is ready to go. They put salt, salt on meat. Uh, meat. And so like the season works is they can add the salt to it and the salt will preserve it for a couple more days. So yeah, that definitely is a trick that they do. I'm going to one up you some more. The little slab of ham that mm -hmm. you be seeing at like grocery stores, or they be sliding like this. Yeah, like that's already squished up, ground whatever it is, and they're slicing it up for your sandwich. Like my homegirl was like, "You do realize that a, a, a cow or a ham don't come in like a little ball like that. <laughs> it's already yeah. they, they yeah. have formed it into that, so it can yeah. slice." It. I'm like, mm -hmm. "Nigga, I just thought it's not. It's not like it's the butt of a of a pig ready to go." Nah. Like, shit. Yeah, that log of meat that like that. Yeah, yeah. It's already been grounded up and then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn it! How's that make you feel? Thicker. They ground <laughs> it and then they boil it in the pack. And they boil it and then that's how. Then it turns into. I'm thinking like, this is fresh meat. They cut it right from the from, right from the pig. It's ready to go. No. It you got to make you got to you got to do your own forging, your own hunt, hunting. That's the only way to guarantee that it's is fresh and it's real. Go to a butcher. Go to a butcher. butcher. Let me tell you what. I I I've seen a chicken cut like a whole chicken cut like the right way and all of that. I I still can't do it. Yeah. Still still <laughs> not going to do it. So I I'm I'm just going to have to take a risk on what I'm eating cuz I'm not cutting the whole chicken up like that. I'm not, I'm not I, I do, do. do want to taste the difference from like a fresh chicken. Like that was that was alive this morning. And are you gonna had, are you gonna de defeather it and all of that? I'm not doing it. I want to taste the difference. <laughs> I want you know what I'm saying. Oh, this is fresh. This nigga was alive at 6 a.m. We're eating at noon. I want to see if it's like a fresh, like, mm -hmm. oh, I taste the difference because our chicken, I'm assuming, like if I go to like a Pollo Loco, that chicken was alive like in June. <laughs> <laughs> this is very possible. It's very possible. Right. Yeah, from China too. They shipping that stuff over here. Exactly. Well, listen. Uh, if you guys have pets and you want to make sure your pet is getting the healthiest food, you need to check out our good friends over at Sunday. They are sponsoring this uh, this ad and it part of this this podcast as well. Sundays is a fresh dog food made from a short list of human grade ingredients. It's co-founded by Doctor. Uh, Tori Waxman, a practicing veterinarian who tests and formulates every version of each recipe. Sunday contains 90% meat, 10% superfoods, and 0% synthetic nutrients or artificial ingredients. Dog parents report noticeable health improvements in their pups, including their fur, fresher breath, 
better poops and more energy after switching to Sundays. Let me tell you something. Dog breath be on level one thou wow. Okay. Just so if, if this is claiming to get them better, better breath, you definitely look into it. If not anything else, that reason alone. Um, unlike other fresh dog food, Sundays does not require refrigeration or preparation because of the air drying process. Just pour and serve. And I can attest to that. Very easy to send the box right to your door. Um, we always start small when we're trying to switch our dog to a new dog food because his, he is an older dog and his stomach was like, hold on now. Uh, but we had no problem switching him over to Sunday. No surprise poops when we came home because a lot of times if dog stomach rejected, they will uh, poop. But we didn't have any of that. Uh, easy to store because it doesn't require refrigeration like some of the other dog foods that say that they're healthy and they're for the dog and all that type of stuff. And you got to put it in the refrigerator and mix it with this brown rice, add a little water. You don't have to do any of that with Sundays. Very easy. Just pour and serve it right to your dog. And right now, we're giving you 40% off your first order order of Sundays. Just go to Sundays for Dogs. That's S-U-N-D-A-Y-S. For Dogs with an S on the end of dogs.com slash D-I-Y-S. And use the code D-I-Y-S at checkout to get 40% off your first order. Order again, go to Sundays for dogs.com slash DIYS and use the code DIYS at checkout for 40% off your first order. Take care of your dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? All you parents out there is rough. I hate pets. <laughs> <laughs> the kid and, and, and fair mainly take care of the dog. I only really interact with him when like they're gone or the kid is at work and fair is doing something else. Uh, that's when I'll do what I need to do to step in. But for the most part, I'll be like, that's y'all dog. Okay. Yes, y'all yes. walk, y'all feed, y'all do all that. And the kid does most of it. She walks them most of the time, feeds them, bathes them, all mm-hmm. of that type stuff. Glad your dog got fresh breath. Everybody need to go get that product ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, dog breath be, that's diabolical. That would be cruel and unusual punishment to like toss somebody to a chair and just let a dog just continually breathe in their air, breathe in yeah. their face. Like, yeah. That would, that would oh suck. my god! What have your see? hands, have your hands tied behind your back, and just keep letting the dog lick your hands. Like, <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> why do they say the dog's mouth is cleaner than yours? Why do they say that? I don't know. Maybe it's more bacteria, and that that bacteria kills the the the, the worser germs than ours. I, I don't know, Dion. You, know. you be eating butt. Come on, man. Well, my kids watch I do this it shit. too. I'm, that's, that's my just my kids watch the show, man. Come on, let's not do this, bro. All right. They look well, I rather me. eat something out of Dion's mouth than a dog's. So, <laughs> come on, brother. Why are you doing like this, yo? Come on. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like people who own pets. The people who own pets, why? It's a, it's a modern day form of slavery. Having For these, pets? having these animals on a leash. <laughs> y'all just perpetuate what the white man wants y'all to do. And have them call you, call them master. Who's your master? Huh? <laughs> no. Bad dog. Go outside. What's wrong with you? You eat what I say you eat. Couple things. I, I hear you. Just just a couple things. Um, only use the leash when they're actually outside. Typically uh-huh. don't have them on the leash inside. Uh, most animals can't can't speak to what they're not going yeah, to eat. They should be free, man. Okay. They should be roaming in the streets, yo. And I guess when they do bad, you 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 spray them with water hose and whatnot, huh? No. You got them out here walking around naked, huh? Uh-uh. You got them outside. <laughs> got them outside picking up trash and, and 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 cotton, huh? That's what you got them out there doing. What dogs be picking up trash and cotton? That's what you got I, Dion was a dog in his former life. This was upset. I was a dog in my former life. <laughs> I'm kinging y'all right now. But you didn't realize the first Labrador was black. <laughs> that's that's funny. I, I saw Kev and Tony. They did something on their show, uh, the Bald Brothers podcast. And I didn't watch the whole clip, but just the beginning it said, what dogs can say the N-word? And I oh didn't even goodness. watch it, but I can tell you which one can't. German Shepherd better not get nowhere near. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. That's hysterical. Tom yeah. Bell said the German Shepherd was the mascot of the civil rights movement. <laughs> <laughs> 
That dog <laughs> is MAGA. That dog is uh, big uh, MAGA energy. My God. Big MAGA. Listen, yeah. that, is, that is the MAGA starter kit. A German Shepherd yeah. on the Ford F-150, a yeah. big American flag in your front yard and on your Ford F-150. MAGA yeah. starter kit. That that dog look. He look. He said, "What you say to me, huh? What you say to me, coon?" He always had that face of like, "What you say?" <laughs> Them coons and 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 hard or nigger are a German Shepherd's favorite words. Damn it! Moon cricket, porch monkey, Ooh. all of those things. Yeah. Porch the monkey. It like he has his chest out, huh? He got a little. What squat. you doing around here, boy? <laughs> 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 No <laughs> key. I think we should ban German Shepherds. We need to get rid of that 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 species altogether. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just... oh, if you want to riot on your hands, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the capital <laughs> wants nothing. You say some shit like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Tiki <laughs> torches big, coming big to you. Racist slave energy. Get rid of that and all the southern mm -hmm. statues, and then we can start anew. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we we can't do that. So. Uh, one of the last stories we're gonna jump into today is the Mandela effect. We've all have our feelings sort of. We've all talked about it. We felt, uh, you know, we've all. I, I think we've all feel like we've experienced it at least once in our life. If if nothing other than thinking Mandela died in jail. Uh, but this is one video that really is crazy. It's online right now, floating around. I'm gonna play that right now is a government experiment so she was able to prove this yeah so one of the most popular mandela effects is the fruit of the loom mandela effect mm -hmm. where everybody remembers there being a cornucopia on the logo of fruit of the loom clothing but apparently there's not and this lady was super convinced that there used to be a cornucopia on the logo but fruit of the loom came out and said that they've never had a cornucopia basically just calling this lady crazy and fruit of the loom even has a post of all the past logos they had all the way back to like 1893 and basically they're trying to prove that they've never had a cornucopia on their logo but then someone came out and they actually have photo proof of this that they found a piece of clothing in their closet with the cornucopia on the fruit of the loom logo and then after this people did more digging and they actually found newspaper articles talking about fruit of the loom and how there's a cornucopia around it wait so this is like the first mandela effect to really be confirmed yeah then they literally found government documents of the fruit of the loom company mentioning a cornucopia showing that the cornucopia has been a part of the company so they can't say it's never existed and since this lady has been able to prove this mandela effect wrong people now think that the government has been using the mandela effect to try to see how much history they could erase without the population knowing the wow i have been saying this for years and what uh, and the the i know more about the story with the lady it wasn't just a little thing she had to start going to therapy everybody had convinced her that she was crazy she was having full mental breakdowns and she actually found a shirt she went through a bunch of old stuff and she had found a shirt as well but she like was in therapy for years and everybody was telling her that it wasn't and i'm huge on the mandela effect but that story was crazy because she literally was going crazy and had lost like her family stopped talking to her it was really bad <laughs> for her and the, and, the, and no because it's just like she was obsessed with it because mm -hmm. they're gaslighting her the, the fruit of loom is like nah we ain't never she's like i know for a fact and so she started to go crazy it was mom, a it, I, I, no. her whole story okay. is wild mom let it go can we just go to my baseball game no it had a cornucopia on the tag <laughs> trust me i got i got another video hey. look at my closet mom <laughs> please my graduation is today no it's the corner COVID because if it's wrapped around, it's the fruit. Mom, please. Yes. It was You're a few years. All of that. Hold on, wait. Did I say Nelson Mandela? Did I say that in the beginning? Yeah. It was called Mandela effect. Yeah. Did I That's say it right I, I can't yeah, remember did. somebody that didn't say Nelson Mandela. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I really feel like they've been doing this for a while with multiple things. Uh, with the Bear Sting Bears, yeah, Kit Kat not having that little dash there or not. Mm -hmm. Richard things. Simmons headband, we know he had the headband. Now, if you he have no headband or nothing right now, so I'm gonna go crazy. I listen, this shit Curious makes me George mad. George never had a tail. Listen, you say what listen. had a tail? Curious George never had a tail. I don't remember that. I can't confirm yeah. if I remember that one or not. But I feel yeah. like all these little things are building up so they can try to. Erase slavery from our mind. Yeah, because they're trying to do it in the books, calling oh, yeah. slaves indentured servants. 
So if they can if they can slowly get rid rid of that, then there won't be a stain on white history. It's a lot of movies, man. It's it's kind of hard. It's, it's a lot of movies and books. It is. It is. They're banning a lot of stuff, and a lot of people don't know all the history books for the United States come out of Texas. But so why? they're first in Texas, and then they spread, and so that's the worst place to be. What's, what's the stigma against the cornucopia? Like, what? Why they say we got to remove this, man? This. Well, it was it was it was it was a worldwide company. So it's like if we can do this on something small on a global mm -hmm. scale, then maybe we could do something bigger on a global scale. We just have to do it right. So they just do it and they wait enough years to see if people stop talking about it. And but some people believe it says jumping timelines as well, but we don't have to go through there. But yeah. I can <laughs> see if they change the color of the grapes and say we never had <laughs> grapes. Well, is huge. <laughs> that's but that's something that's easy to go okay well maybe it never had the grapes but you can't they needed it to be big so that they could remove something noticeable to see how much they can mess with you the headband and noticeable i remember when mandela died in jail i don't care nobody i remember i remember it like i it's all these things you're going nah they they, they they're playing a game right now they're mm -hmm. they're playing a game yeah and I, fruit loop fruit loop is there with two o's right yeah yeah. Wait, is it not with two O's now? It's it's with two O's, but I always thought it was spelled normal. Loops is normal with two O's. No, I thought it was spelled fruit spelled normal, but I know I did not know it was two O's. It was fruit R. It's F R O O T. That's how they spell it. Really? Yeah. Nah. I gotta look that up. See, somebody just said it. They spell that's how on the box is spelled like that. What? It's always been spelled like that. No, what? it hasn't. Yeah. No, it has not. <laughs> look no, it, it hasn't. Obviously, no matter looking it up, look what they do to the old girl. It don't matter if I look it up or not. If they don't want it to, to my my memory to be there, it's gone. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Damn. But it's a lot of stuff. If you look it up, but that headband's been pissing me off lately. I know Richard Simmons had a headband. I used to do the workouts and everything. I even had a headband. And now there's no headbands. I think uh, the Pringles guy never had a monocle. No, no, nah, that was supposed to be the the, uh, the Monopoly. Monopoly guy. Monopoly man. Yeah. Wait, they're saying he doesn't have one now. He always had. He always had one. Who the Pringles man? No, the Monopoly guy. They took it away. He didn't have one. Uh, the the Pe Mr. Peanut had one. No, Monopoly had the crazy part is if my shit, my sister. Boom. Two O's, homie. Hold on, man. I, I saw no. that I saw I saw that uh Dion, but I'm gonna check on uh Monopoly man. I don't go think ahead. He no, yeah, he, he did, did have so oh, I used did, to collect yeah. I was about to say I used to collect monopolies. My sister had a flood in her house, so I lost a bunch of them, but I've been collecting monopolies since I was 12. I have a bunch here too. Oh, so I'm like he no, no, the actual monopoly games. I've been collecting them oh. since I was 12. Um, yeah. so I have all there. I got a Bridgerton Monopoly, okay? <laughs> like they um oh, but he, 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 they, they took off from the remember McDonald's had the little you can win a million dollars. By tearing off of the little cups in the in the in the French Hell fry. yeah, I remember. I had a fistful of those. Somebody never won. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me let me see. I, I've found some some Monopoly had a he yeah. had one. For a I fact. Think he killed Mr. Peanut too. They killed him off. You say what? I thought they killed Mr. Peanut. No. Let me look this up, man. Where is this at? Where is this at? Somebody said, you're not about to convince me that Monopoly Man didn't have no Monica. Because he had one. You can't. I, I collected Monopolies. I know for a fact. Okay. So There's is that the not nobody can tell me. You can't tell me. Let's see. Is this it? No, that ain't it. See? Hold on, bro. Yeah, he had a pocket watch, not a monocle. <laughs> Where's it at? I just pulled it up, but it's not showing right now. That's crazy. I can't even show yeah, y'all. Because that was an accidentally left. They the yeah. you got it. No. They no. scrubbed it from the internet that quick. No. That's see? crazy. The one you just seen is gone. They left it there, and yeah. then you got that, and they got rid of that shit quick, they fast, and in a hurry. They heard us. They said, shit. Yeah. Erase it now. I wish you would have screenshotted it. Oh, okay. Uh, you get nervous. You get nervous. He said. He said. Oh, 
because it happened right before our eyes. Now this damn internet you're scary don't even exist. Two weeks from now you're gonna be able to find this episode. <laughs> Hold on. No, I, I, gotcha. I found. I got it. That was kind of creepy though. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I don't know what you're looking at, but I'm already scared. You said, "Oh my God, where's my?" Right. Right. Did Hippie put it up? Okay, Hippie got it on. I better I mean, wake up. That, in the I saw that one right there. With the two guys right here side by side, and then they got it right here too. With it, but people are saying that it wasn't a thing though. You never. That's not true. Movie. Yes, he did, and there's that. His ass got one right there on. I hope you look at it. And no, up, go up. Right here, this figurine he's, right here. He's right there with it on. Where yeah. it says zero, he got it on right there. Hey man, next that's to the one good. with the pink background. He got. He always had that. They're they're. They're always fucking with us. They're always fucking with us. <laughs> hey, that's kind of creepy. Hey, the crazy thing is, Monopoly Man was never a man. He's always been a woman. We just gave him the word All man. Right. All right, D.I. See, D.I. don't never take nothing seriously, man. I know. He was always joking. Okay. He's trying to stay alive. <laughs> 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 It's like, nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They tried to say Tinkerbell never flew over the Disney castle in the crack. Why are they lying like that? She oh, isn't yes, she over the, 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 yeah. the Disney world thing. Yeah, they're saying now she didn't do that. Man, they gotta stop. Well, well they gotta stop. Why they, why they do why, uh, I was gonna say, why are they doing that? But I mean, again, if, if the goal is like to erase slavery from our mind, then. Is yeah. is tweet is 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 Bambi a boy or girl? I never knew. Is Tweety Bird a boy or a girl? I thought Tweety Boy Tweety Bird was a boy. No one knows, I yo. Think Tweety Bird's a boy. Yeah, bad old putty tat. I think I, th I think I think he's a boy. He's supposed to be a boy. They're gonna find a way to he's say gender neutral. Yeah, they're gonna say they're gonna find a way to say that. You know who they got rid of? The Tasmanian Devil. What? Well, he told me, like, we got to get this nigga out of here, man. Him and Pepe Le Pew, because Pepe Le Pew was a pedophile. He was a sexual predator. <laughs> yeah, but why Tasmanian? What did he do? They was like, we can't make fun of somebody with Tourette's. ADHD? Oh, no. Oh, Tourette. man. He's on the spectrum, huh? Yeah. Tourette. I think was it was just Tourette's. Both, both are both males. Tourette. Huh? She somebody said both are males. He grew up, he had antlers. Okay. Oh, okay. The Prince of the Forest. The pr okay. Prince of the Forest? They referred to Bambi as the Prince of the Forest? <laughs> when was this song as the Prince of the Forest? That was a sequel. <laughs> I ain't never going back to watch it to confirm this, but I didn't think Bambi was the Prince of the Forest. Deion, that I'll looks like cold saw, bro. That looks like a big lump of cold saw in your water. How you got more. Do you replace it. How often do you replace um, it? I do like three years. Pull -ups. I do like <laughs> every 45 years. 40 year soup. <laughs> and pass down to my family. <laughs> 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 my mama's mama used to have this, yo. <laughs> it do look like generations worth of ginger at the bottom of that. Wait, <laughs> like, so you say three fill ups. You got three or four fill ups. Or do those fill ups happen with it all within a day, or that's like that's like two days no. of fill up? No, this is this was I filled I filled this up with the uh which is vegetables, fruit, vegetables, uh yesterday. Okay. I, I feel like this much up of, of it. Got and it. then the rest of it is water. So you uh, don't have to drink as much water as you're supposed to, because that's way too much. I oh, use man. water. That's way too much. It's your we, overkill. We burn it up out right here. Niggas are dying for hydration, <laughs> man. I'm trying to get this over to <laughs> <laughs> hey, you drink your 64 ounces? Yeah. 19 of it was ginger. <laughs> Always treating the system. This is backwash right here. This is backwash. It's more vegetables it's too much. here. It's too much. It's too much. You've done Listen, enough. When the camera turns off, he asks, he asks ranch dressing to the water. <laughs> I deep fried the whole thing like, yeah, they were fucking <laughs> up. Not some poor water. Poor <laughs> <laughs> <Pour> water? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's so uh, bad. Uh, All right, man. Before we get up out of here, y'all got anything going on? Y'all want to let the people know to look out for dates or anything project wise? You want to let people yeah. know? Uh, this Friday, I have my B Day comedy show. I feature uh, whatever zodiac sign is happening and do it every month. Virgo right. season, I will be season. hosting. Yeah, I'll be hosting at my location, LT Studios, downtown LA. Please, please support. Come check us out. Um, tickets are in my bio. Uh, Virgos, man, uh, y'all get in free. Let's do that. Uh, I just hey, need to have there you go. There you go. Uh, Virgos. Next week, uh, Lacaroni and Chaz podcast, the 100th episode. We're going live, we're going to stream it, and we're going to invite people in. Free drinks, uh, and uh, you know, celebrate us, man. We're gonna be talking to y'all. It's gonna be a live podcast, and y'all gonna be the topics. All right. Yeah, I tight. love it. All right. 100 episode. What you got, Denise? All right. I am on the Super Funny Nate Jackson Super Funny World Tour right now. So check my calendar. Uh, Kapipsi. I got to learn how to say it. New York. Well, I'll be in I, I, Poughkeepsie, New York. That's, I'm headed towards you. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I'm on the way. So turn up. All right. Busy's in the house. But right now, you can inbox me. I got a bunch of, I got a new shirt line out. It's a bunch of different shirts. So I'm going to show you. Fuck them kids. My favorite. Yeah. Okay. Fuck them kids. Kids be snitching in all colors. My favorite is the Seahawks colors. So kids be snitching. Fuck them kids. I got six other shirt designs. Come on. Get, get, come on and get a shirt and let, let me know what's up. So yeah, just keep up with that. And um, I have a bunch of other stuff coming out. So follow me on social media so that you can see what's going on. Which is hey. K-A-N-I-S-H-A-B-U-S-S. And listen, uh, just as a reminder, um, Wording is Hard is now on Tubi. But also, uh, Hippie and Cleo show, Two Bite Rule, is also on Tubi right now. So <laughs> go for those right now, both of them. Uh, also, I'm um, shooting my special on September 20th. I may do a special dry run, two dry runs this upcoming mm -hmm. Sunday. Uh, location still to be determined. So just make sure you go to my page, check my stories, check my feed. Uh, I will post it on Instagram first and then Twitter, then Facebook. Um, but yeah, check that out because it's, it's going to be a very limited um, engagement and very limited space. Probably only 30, 40 people per show. And then the special only fits 100 people and it's already 65 tickets. So 20 tickets uh, out of that 100 are going to go to friends and family. So uh, be warned, it's only 50, 15 tickets left to the actual filming, but the dry run, we're probably going to have about 30 tickets per show. So uh, be looking out for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all here trying to do this thing. Make sure you have go stream two by rule. Go stream wording is hard. Be looking out for the special. Uh, we're also going to be doing uh, watch parties. Tony Baker is doing a watch party on Wednesday. If you're watching this on Thursday, you already missed it. Uh, but uh, Cleo is going to be doing one. I'm going to be doing one all of um, the shows that we were promoting. So Appreciate y'all watching. Special shout out to our special guest today. We got Dion Lack. We got Kanisha Bus. And of course, I'm to hear more. We'll see you on the next episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Peace, guys. Boom. It Hi. is.